Well, thanks for watching Numbskull News. And today we're going to talk about Oklahoma and Texas. Of course, they're leaving the Big 12 and good riddance to your punk asses. Now, before the season started, I didn't, I kind of, I was hedging my bets. I was thinking, you know what, Texas and Oklahoma, they're not going to be in the Big 12 championship game. I refuse to believe it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Texas do it since, you know, 2009. And I've never seen Coach Sark do it. Never. Never seen him win more than nine games, no matter where he was at, as a head coach. But I have to say, Texas is a hell of a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Hell, so is Oklahoma. However, Oklahoma. Well, we done took care of them. Kansas, Oklahoma State. They're not getting to the Big 12 championship game. That dream is dead. Look at Oklahoma State's last three games. They're not dropping any of those. With all, all due respect to BYU, they got to go to Oklahoma State. And that's asking a lot of BYU. And then you got Kansas, who's also in front of OU. Kansas has got Kansas State. That's their toughest, toughest opponent. Uh, right now, that's a 50-50 game. It's going to be an incredible game, but they can very easily lose to Kansas State. And, and there would be, you know, there's no shame in losing that game. But they very well could lose that game. But o Oklahoma's done. They're done. There's no Big 12 conference title for them. There's no Big 12 uh, conference championship game appearance for them. And there's damn sure, damn sure, no playoffs for Oklahoma. <laughs> and I had Oklahoma people talk shit to me before the season. Oh, you just watched. Look at that easy schedule. Look at that easy. They just dropped two in a row. Yeah, look at that easy schedule, bitch asses. <laughs> That's the Big 12. Any team can get you. Any team can get you. Hell, we've seen it all year. We've seen it all year in this league. We saw Houston beat West Virginia out of nowhere. And when TCU was actually humming along pretty well, here came West Virginia into Fort Worth and got them. Anybody can get anybody in this league. That includes Texas and Oklahoma. Now, I will say this. Texas is more than likely not going to drop another game this year period and even with that said they're still not making the playoff sorry <laughs> that dream is over because that OU loss is looking worse and worse by the week and, and, and by the way OU still has to deal with West Virginia I know the game's in Norman but that's not necessarily going to be an easy thing now Texas look they got TCU left on the schedule. I love my Horn Frogs. I'm just hoping they can kind of keep it respectable. All right. Iowa State, Texas has to go to Ames. That's been a problem in the past for Texas. It could be a problem again this year. Chances are Texas will win that game, but Iowa State can keep it close. I, I believe they can. All right. Then they got... At the end of the year, they got Texas Tech coming into town. They'll probably beat Texas Tech. 90% chance of that happening. But Tech also can keep it close. A lot of UCF kept it close. There's been a lot of close games. That's why there's a lot of teams right now ahead of Texas in the AP Top 25. All right, Texas is in the top 10, but they're nowhere close enough to the top four. And if you just look around this bitch, look at the schedules remaining, Texas is not making the playoff, the 14 playoff. That dream's dead. Even if they run the, you know, win the last three games and win the Big 12 championship, they're still not getting in the playoff. And by the way, chances are that it'll be Oklahoma State in the Big 12 conference game. That's going to be a bitch of a game. That's going to be a bitch of a game for Texas. That ain't an easy, that ain't, 
That is not an automatic win. Nowhere close to it. Not with how Oklahoma State is playing. Right now, they're playing the best football in the entire conference. But let's break it down. Let's look at it. Let's look at what the SEC is doing right now. All right. You think George is going to drop another game? They're not. They'll be in the SEC title game, and it's probably going to be Alabama. I doubt Alabama will drop another game. And Georgia, I think even if they lose the SEC championship game, they're still going to get into the playoff. So that's one. Florida State. Uh, Florida State is not going to lose another game. They're, they're, no one's beating them in the ACC title game either. They're too damn good. They are light years above everybody else. And I think Louisville has, has had an incredible season. I think they'll be in that championship game. I think they'll give Florida State a run for their money. And I, I'm going to be personally pulling for Louisville as a future Big 12 team. <laughs> we Whenever that is, it'll happen. But chances are Florida State's going to win that game. They'll be undefeated. They're getting in the playoff. You're not going to keep them out. And now let's look at the Big Ten. You got Michigan that's undefeated. You got Ohio State that's undefeated. Now, Ohio State's next, you know, really tough game is going to be Michigan at the end of the season. Michigan's got Penn State this week. And... Can't remember the middle game, and then Ohio State. So they got a pretty tough schedule at the end here. And not to mention, you know, all the cheating scandal that they're involved in right now. So I don't know if they're going to be able to get out of that Penn State game without a loss. I don't know. But chances are, one of the at least one of those two teams is going to be in the playoff. Now let's look out west. You got right now Oregon with one loss. Washington with no losses. Both of them ranked higher than Texas right now. Now, if you look at Washington's schedule, that's a tough schedule. It really is. I mean, they got uh, Utah coming up. They got Oregon State and then Washington State. Now, Washington State's fallen off. They should be able to just destroy them. Oregon State is a tough-ass matchup. It's a tough team to beat. Utah, they should beat Utah, but... And that's not going to be an easy win either. Conversely, you look at Oregon, really their toughest matchup is going to be Oregon State at the end of the year. Uh, they got USC coming up. Now, it's college football, and anything can happen. Uh, USC still has probably one of the best, if not the best quarterback in all of college football. But, but they can't stop anybody. Oregon will put at least 50 points on them. I don't know how it's going to look the other way. Oregon's got a much better defense than USC does. They should win that, especially especially when it's in Eugene. Look, the best case scenario for Texas is really Georgia runs the table, wins the SEC championship game, beats Alabama. Florida State, of course, that's going to happen to them. They're in, so that's two spots, right? Uh, best case scenario for them would be Michigan losing to Penn State, but then beating Ohio State, which would put Michigan into, but that, that, but still that's still a problem because Michigan would then go and beat whoever in the Big Ten <laughs> conference title game. So that's three. So when you look out west, you I mean if if your Texas, you got to hope Washington loses to Utah, maybe loses to Oregon State. Maybe Oregon State goes nuts and beats them both. And then maybe, maybe at that point, after all of that, <laughs> Texas squeezes in at this at the number four spot. But I'm sorry, that's that's not gonna happen. You know, I'm sorry, it's not. Now Georgia can very well beat Alabama, but what happens if Alabama beats Georgia? All right, so Georgia goes undefeated through the regular season, loses the SEC title game to Alabama, who only has one loss. Do you think Georgia, at that point, Georgia and Alabama both get into the playoff? Oh, without a doubt. 
without a doubt, with Florida State. So that's three spots right there. Nightmare scenario for Texas. And I guarantee you, <laughs> it's going to be really hard to keep Ohio State out of the playoff with just one. If, even if they have a loss to Michigan, it's still going to be very damn hard to keep them out. You could they, they got in last year with a loss to Michigan. And on the other side, chances are Oregon's not losing another game and they're going to, to the Pac-12 championship game. And if they beat Washington, they're, they're going to get in. All right, even if Washington drops a game either to Utah or Oregon State, and they get into the, they're still going to get into the Pac-12 championship game. And if they win it, they're probably in. And, and I know Longhorn fans are going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. We beat Alabama. Our only loss is to Oklahoma. Yeah, we're going to end up losing to a team that at best is going to be third. At best, it's going to be third. <laughs> More than likely, it's going to be the fourth place team in the Big 12, which nationally everyone sees the Big 12 as being, having a down year. All right, even though I think it's been a pretty damn, pretty damn exciting year, it has been down. I've been down about it because TCU has fallen on its face. It's not going to make a bowl game. After going to the championship game, it's not going to make a bowl game. So... Right now, the way everyone looks at the Big 12 is that it's down this year. So, okay, you're one loss in a down conference. That that's We've seen plenty of teams in the past come out of a down conference with one loss and not make the playoff. This year, that's going to be Texas. There's too many high-quality teams. One in the ACC, a couple of them in the SEC, a couple of them in the Big 10, a couple of them out west in the Pac-12, the last year of the Pac-12. That that's where that's I'm sorry, but that that's where your uh, that's where your teams for the playoff are going to come from this year. They're not coming from from the Big 12, not even the mighty Texas with one loss. It's not happening, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> if nothing else. If we couldn't keep them out of the Big 12 title game, damn it, let's keep them out of the playoff. Screw you. Screw you. Enjoy, fully enjoy the SEC. And good luck. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got on this crap. I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.